Brian Bremberg with me this morning. Uh, look, I'm coming on strong here. No justice yeah. in New York City. Politicized justice. It's a joke. What say you? Yes, and the tipping or the tip of the spear is Donald Trump, but it's really about everybody else. Anybody watching this says if they can do that to him, the formula is simple. Lots of money that you can't raise. You lose your appeal. It doesn't matter who you are. If you espouse the wrong view, you read the wrong thing, you shop at the wrong place, you speak the wrong words, this could be you next. That's, Stu, what America sees in what's happening to Donald Trump. It may work for him politically, but as a very sad commentary on the rule of law and justice in America. Oh, it is. It's just a, a, a sad spectacle. That's what I'd put it like. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, listen to what the White House has said when asked about President Biden's next press conference. Watch this. When will the president hold another news conference so we can ask a question of him without having helicopter noise or jet noise in the background? I don't have anything for you to share, obviously. The president... President, as you just say, as you were just saying, the president uh, takes questions pretty regularly. Enjoys having engagement with all of you. Uh, I don't have a press conference to lay out for you at this but, time. But is, there, is there a talk of one? I don't have anything for you. But as I said, the president enjoys engaging with all of you on a regular basis, and he'll continue to do that. I don't see how they can possibly avoid any and all press conferences and a debate and still call this a presidential campaign. I like what Edward asked there. He said, take away all the helicopter noise, all the background noise, all the things that you could blame in saying, oh, he didn't hear your question or you didn't hear him. Just get, this is your line. Give it to us straight. No background noise, just the president and the press. Any questions we want to ask and let's see what he can do. They don't want to do that. They don't want to do the debates. I don't think we're going to get one, and I think that's a huge loss for America. It's a huge loss for America. Surely it's a very bad thing for their campaign. I mean, everyone will see. I mean, he cannot handle a press conference. He cannot handle a debate. That's a huge negative for Biden. I, I don't think they view that as a negative for his campaign. I think they feel like they, that's a positive for their campaign if he can stay out of that spotlight. It's, it's a so negative yeah, for people but, making decisions, but that's what he needs to do given his circumstances and his abil inability to handle it. David, David Axelrod says, let Joe be Joe. He, you know, he could be funny. He can be aggressive. Well, let Joe be Joe on the debate stage. He should be able to take on Donald there's Trump. There's no way. Let they Joe can be let Joe. Let's Joe see be it. Joe. They can't, there's no way they can. That is the worst advice David Axelrod could give. <laughs> unless, is it not? Unless he wants Biden out and somebody else that in. Would, then it would be good advice. He's Obama's guy. Yes, okay. I take yeah. your point there. Brian, stay there, yeah. please.